to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. It was a lovely sunny seaside day, and Dogger and I were in McGillicuddy for a walk. <laughs> But first, I had to pop into Eddie Stone's shop. Ahoy there, I called. All hands on deck. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, Bill. <laughs> Come for some extra supplies, chuckled Eddie. What will it be? Um, a gallon of oil, a crate of lemonade, or maybe a large box of brass polish? Oh, no. Not today, thanks, I replied. I just need a ball of string. Eddie was amazed. You've come all the way from the lighthouse just for a ball of string? That's right, I said. String's very useful. Why? There's a knot for everything. Hitches and sheep bends, sheep shanks and bowlings. And what's more, string often helps me remember things. How ever can string help you remember things? Asked Eddie. But before I could explain, Grandma Tyree rushed in all of a tears. Oh dear, she gasped. My washing line's broken. And I've got a big basket full of wet clothes to dry. Don't you worry, Grandma, I said. I'll use my ball of string to join it up with a sheet bend knot. Come on, Eddie, give us an hand. Well, I soon had the washing line fixed. Thanks to my ball of string, I said to Eddie. Yes, but how does it help you remember things? But I was already on my way. Tell you later, I shouted. Dogger and I hadn't gone very far when suddenly two sheep burst through the gate in front of us. Boy, it's Flotsam and Jetsam from Finisterre's Croft, I said. What are you two doing here? Well, just then, young Gail from the village ran up to me. What's the matter, Gail, I said. Do you want Dogger to catch those sheep for you? Uh, oh, no. It's Boomer the bull. He's broken loose and he's in the lane. Those silly sheep just followed him. Oh, look out. He's coming back. Ow. Don't worry, I'll get him. Whoa, Boomer, I shouted. And I led him quietly to a nearby post and tied him to it with a running hitch using some more of my string. At that moment, Finisterre arrived, puffing and panting. Oh, oh, thank goodness you've found them, he said. I've been, I've been looking for them everywhere. Thank you, Bill. You are clever. Well, I laughed. A good lighthouse keeper has a knot for everything. And then Dogger and I went on our way. On the way back to my boat, we bumped into Fastnet, the fisherman. He was not his usual cheery self. Shouldn't you be off fishing? I asked. You'll miss the tide if you're not careful. Ah, can't be helped, Bill. I got an hole in my net the size of a whale. I'll just have to miss the tide. Oh, we can't have that, I said. I got some good, strong string here. We'll mend your nets in no time. But first, I need a bit to tie round my little finger. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> Back again, Bill, he said. Uh, what would you like this time? Oh dear, I says. What with runaway bulls, broken washing lines and fishing nets, I've forgotten what I came for. Oh, yes. I tied this string round my little finger to remind me. <laughs> so that's how string can help you remember things, laughed Eddie. Well, Bill, uh, what did you want to remember? To buy another large ball of string, I smiled. I've used the other one up tying knots for everything. <laughs> oh, come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill.